but the rest are add-ons that are tucked inside. And my next guest says that uh, the ten billion for teachers, the five billion for college grants, the fifty million for emergency food assistance is a waste. Republican Congressman Kevin Brady of Texas joins me now. Congressman, welcome to the show. And you know what kills me? Good afternoon, uh, Charles. How they? How? Do you, Listen, I, I guess everyone down there might be guilty of this, but they'll, they'll name a bill something and it has absolutely nothing to do with it. Now, maybe this one will be 50-50, a quote-unquote war bill, but tell us about all the goodies tucked inside. Well, yeah, part of this, well, as you know, any excuse in Washington to spend money these days is a, apparently a good excuse, although we've opposed all these bills. A, a comment. First, you know, the president and Democrats in Congress are like a compulsive shopper who's convinced if they just buy a new pair of shoes, everything will get better. The truth of the matter is we're spending far beyond our means. And the reason people already know the stimulus has failed is that they don't see the job needle moving. They're frightened by the debt. They see Washington spending more and more, and they're wondering who's going to pay all this back and what taxes, higher taxes, that are they going to have to pay, which is why consumer confidence is down, right. why the economy is slow to recover. And all this spending, including, look, everyone loves teachers. It's not war. It's not funding the troops. Uh, unemployment's important. We can't add 33 billion dollars more to the deficit. So Democrats up here in Washington are completely disconnected both from the public and from the economy. Although, you know, from what I'm feeling and hearing and reading about, it seems like perhaps some Democrats are coming on board. I mean, this, these sort of spending bills aren't layups anymore. Well, they're not, but you know, they have such super majorities really in the House, in the Senate, that they've really had their way on spending. Some of them, I think they're spending more time at home, finally are starting to get it, which is people are frightened by the debt. And today, as we speak, uh, every second we add more to the national deficit than most families in America make for the whole year. And again, this debt is a key issue that Washington doesn't seem to get. Now, I want to talk about this particular bill because, you know, listen, I, you've got two things. We've got this situation in Afghanistan, which uh, is some, somewhat of a quagmire. Uh, our enemies are watching. They, you know, more recently, General Petraeus called it a war of wills than anything else. I mean, when, when, when this kind of money is held up, when, when we can't help our troops out like this, uh, the casualties go beyond just dollars and cents. Yeah, I, I, you are exactly right. And our soldiers uh, in the war zones are following this as closely as we are. Uh, our, our enemies are as well. And they see Congress looking for any excuse uh, to fund something they want on the back of our troops. And, and not just extra funding that has nothing to do with the war, but uh, issues from abortions in military hospitals that don't ask, don't tell, to hate crimes last time. Uh, we did this, and so it is. Uh, this is bad on all fronts, and I think very damaging to uh, to the war. What do you though? What do you say, Representative Brady, to people who say, um, "What's wrong with helping teachers? Uh, you know, what's wrong with building the, a border fence? Uh, the type of programs that are being tucked into this? Uh, you know, why can't we do this to help the American public?" Uh, because none of these solve the problem. The truth is, at the state and federal level, we are far outspending our budgets. The only way we're going to get it back into shape is to make tough decisions. And as long as Congress keeps bailing out state and local governments, um, schools, uh, and uh, themselves at the federal government, uh, we're going to face, uh, we're going to pay the piper. In the public, is informed. They know this. It's one of the reasons that, again, consumer confidence is so low right now. Do you think uh, when it's all said and done that these unemployment ex uh, benefits will be extended? You know, I think if they find a way to pay for it, certainly they will. I think right now they're just looking for any way around paying for that uh, in that $33 billion huge hole they're going to dig again. Well, I got to tell you, I hope they take care of the troops no matter what. We're in a pickle with all this other stuff. Sometimes politics have to be pushed aside. I really appreciate your time this afternoon. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Cheryl.